A family is in mourning after the loss of their beloved daughter, niece and mother, Erica Tate. Tate was found shot to death in an apartment on North Villery Friday morning. Later that same day, the father of Tate's four children was arrested in her murder. I spoke to Erica's family who say though they saw warning signs, they couldn't imagine something so tragic could happen to the loving mother of four. She inherited a smile that would radiate a room, that would brighten up a room. Erica Tate's uncle and godfather, Todd Lars, says the 30-year-old was radiant and kind, always giving the very best of herself to those she loved. She was extremely loyal. Uh, she was extremely loving to a fault. So they couldn't fathom that she died at the hands of someone who she'd given that same love and loyalty to for more than nine years. Police say her killer is the father of her four young children, Cedric Powell. Her sons were, were her world. She put them first. You know, um, even their dad, she loved him. She loved him unconditionally. And because of that unconditional love and not really knowing what her true self-worth was, she sacrificed who she was so someone could be happy. Sherry Larsh says as the relationship between Erica and Powell grew, she saw a shift in her daughter's behavior. I had begun to see less and less of my daughter. It was more um, them as a, um, as a unit, as a family unit. It was more like a controlling relationship. And she would do what she had to do to keep peace and all. But when Powell unexpectedly dropped all four kids off at Sherry's home early last Friday morning, she felt something was terribly wrong. I knew something was off, something was wrong. So I had a friend to come sit with my grandkids while I went to the apartment to look for my daughter. Sherry discovered her daughter shot to death in the apartment she shared with Powell on the 300 block of North Villery. Later that day, Powell was arrested and charged in Erica's murder. Unfortunately, we did see signs, but we wanted to trust Erica's judgment. Now four little boys, the youngest, just 10 months old, are left without their mother, while their father faces second-degree murder charges. They know their mom won't be coming back. She's in heaven. Um, they know they won't see their dad for a while. Leaving Sherry to raise her four young grandchildren while mourning their mother. She was a blessing. Um, I love my baby girl. Um, she loved her children. She loved life. She just didn't get a chance to live until it's fullest. And police officials told our partners at the Times Picayune New Orleans Advocate that Powell admitted to shooting Tate, but he claimed he did it so in self-defense. He's now being held on a $500,000 bond. In the meantime, we want to do all we can to help Tate's children. The family set up a GoFundMe account that has already raised more than $28,000. You can donate to that GoFundMe. We have a link on our website, www.tv.com. You can also donate at any Hancock Whitney Bank to the Erica Tate Memorial Fund.